Goodbye iPhone 7 Plus. It was a nice ride while it lasted. Yep, my iPhone 7 Plus finally bit the dust. Audio is completely gone. So I am trading it in for. Ooh, I almost dropped it. <laughs> so I'm dropping it in for the iPhone SE, the second generation SE. All right, one thing I want to get off my chest really quick before we start this discussion and say a proper farewell to the 7 Plus is that this channel and this video is not about encouraging you to get the latest and the greatest. That's not what my channel is about. I share tips and talk about the how to make the best out of what you got. There's some ghetto tricks in there as well, some DIYs, but hey, you know, you get the most out of the gear that you have right now. That's what this channel is all about. And by the way, if you're into that too, consider subscribing and hitting that like button down here in the corner. So in this video, we're not only saying goodbye to the iPhone 7 Plus, I'm also gonna talk to you about why you don't need the latest smartphone model, the most expensive. You really don't need it. You don't need to spend $800, $900, $1,000 $1, for a device that will help you communicate with people. Because even this iPhone 7 Plus, even though it's over five years old, probably what, six years old now? It has given me great results. I have posted stills taken with this camera in my Instagram account, which you could also check it out. It's in the description down below. And also I have taken videos, actually videos in my channel were exclusively recorded using this camera right there. But of course, now it's dead, so now what? I got the next best bang for the buck, and that is the iPhone SE. Now this thing literally puts the meaning behind the best bang for the buck. I'm talking about you can squeeze a lot of bang for the buck that you spend on it. Of course, there are newer models out there that are way better, take amazing stills and videos, but for over a thousand dollars, no, you don't need it. Guys, you don't need it. It's just crazy that you know, a mobile device will cost the same or even more than a computer. My M1 Mac Mini back there, my 4K destroying monster costs less than $700. Let that sink in. Besides the fact that you don't really need it in your life, it's not an essential thing. What's more important is just keeping your eyes sample you know, and focus on what is important in your life. Family, friends, health, even with the gear talk. Yeah, staying focused on what really is your need. Is it a bigger screen? Is it storage? Is it a 4K? Is it still wide lens? You know, what is the real need in your mobile device? That helps declog your thinking, your planning. So in the result, final result is you'll be much happier by having or keeping an eye sample in your life. Besides, I actually compare these two models that are widely gap in the iPhone model list, but the results of the two footage didn't have as much difference as I expected. I mean, the difference is there if you see it, the footage on a big screen, but on a mobile device, the difference is actually pretty small it's hard to see on a mobile device now a future video is coming up i'm going to be showing you comparison between these two cameras but the gap that it, it is really large is not in the image quality the large gap that you gain is in money how much money you save buying older generation phones with lesser lesser storage that really saves a lot of money actually I really recommend to get the most out of your smartphone device and your wallet is get the most storage that your wallet or your wife or husband allows you to have. Yeah, but don't sweat it because even with the minimal storage, you could use external storage to store files that you might not use immediately. Maybe you just 
edit your video, you post it in YouTube, and then you could delete it or store it outside of the phone. But the thing is that you declutter that, mint that storage space. So it gives you room to for the newer content, the newer videos that you'll be taking. Now with external storage communicating a lot easier with all our mobile devices, it's a no brainer, you know, getting external storage. Well, that is if you don't mind carrying a little bulk, you know, a little storage drive outside in your Mac. If you don't mind that, then I recommend getting, a, you know, an external storage, save money when you purchase your mobile device. And that's how I roll. I get the minimal tier, the middle tier in storage space, either the 64 gig or the 128 gigs. I do use external storage for my iPad Pro, even my Mac mini, they both share the same SSD as well as my smartphones. They can communicate and, you know, plug into that external storage now. So yeah, it's a no brainer guys. So what about you guys? What do you guys think? I would love to hear your comments, your opinions in the comment section down below and also one more thing i want to take a minute to say thank you thank you guys for all the support for all the subscribers you know if you could see down there in the corner we're almost at 1000 subscribers we're almost there so if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed i would really appreciate your support your love in hitting that subscribe button and also for the algorithm the algorithm which algorithm smashing that like button it will really mean a lot to me it will help this channel continue to roll on in the subscribers list and i will try to do my part in bringing out content that is useful beneficial for you guys so thank you thank you i would love to hit a thumbs up to you guys but here's a virtual thumbs up for you guys so thank you again and yeah that's about it guys i'm out see you guys on the next one peace